Joining the Kenya Defense Forces is a job coveted by many youths in Kenya. Each year, thousands of youths across the country turn out for recruitment exercises hoping to join the soldiers in protecting and defending the territorial integrity of Kenya. To be considered for cadet training, the Kenya Defense Forces requires that one must be a Kenyan citizen aged between 18 to 26 years for general service officer cadets and up to 30 years for specialist cadets. All candidates are required to have scored a B-plane in their Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education and in possession of a valid national identity card. Male candidates are expected to be at least 5 feet and 3 inches tall, weighing not less than 54.55 kilograms, while female candidates are expected to weigh in at 50 kilograms, stand not less than 5 feet tall and not be pregnant at the time of recruitment or during training. All the candidates must also be medically fit according to Kenya Defense Forces standards and their skin healthy, devoid of large deep scars or tattoos. After the recruitment process, selected candidates report to the Kenya Military Academy at Lanet in Nakuru County where conversion from civilians to military officers and molding by way of military training is undertaken. At the academy, cadets are subjected to further assessments both physically and mentally, eliminating some of the candidates. Thereafter, successful candidates commence training with kitting among other administrative processes and gradually over time, strenuous activities are introduced and sustained throughout the training period. Cadet training in the Kenya Defense Forces is not a walk in the park. It entails changes in the physical, mental and emotional status of an individual. It is an intensive process which re-socializes cadets to conform to the demands of military employment and duties. Cadet training is anchored on three pillars which are professional training, academic development and character development. Professional training is meant to equip cadets with necessary soldiering skills to enable them understand the environment in which the military operates while building their capacity to perform tasks effectively as military commanders. Under this pillar, cadets are trained on weapon handling, battle or field craft, physical fitness, map reading, military communication, land, air and maritime operations and field training exercises. The academic development pillar entails training aimed at developing the quality of military leadership by instilling critical thinking in the cadets while apprising them with an excellent background for academic advancement. This training culminates in the award of a Bachelor of Science in Military and Security Studies degree. The academy currently uh, runs um, a three-year GSO cadet uh, intake, uh, one year GSO uh, graduate intake and a six month specialist uh, intake. The third pillar, character development, involves breaking cadets from raw civilians to soldiers while cultivating professional pride in response to military command individually or as team players while cultivating the ability to appreciate service discipline, customs, norms, values, and traditions. Cadet training entails classwork, field, and parade training. To benefit from the training, which is conducted in an environment of strict discipline, the cadets need mental acuity and physical agility. The medical and chaplaincy fraternity are always with the cadets to assist where necessary and encourage where the will has failed. Training in harsh environmental conditions emphasizes on general military skills, individual preparedness, extended field operations and more so conducting small unit tactical operations. The purpose of cadet training is to develop character, leadership skills and instill a sense of duty and responsibility in the cadet. Cadet training prepares officers for leadership and command by providing foundational officer training, education and inspiration to attain professional military excellence in the Kenya Defense Forces. KMA has been created for a particular reason, to provide a unique and of course excellent positioning for the KDF in terms of foundational military training. Before proceeding to the commissioning parade, cadets must certify the commissioning board where further selection of the cadets is carried out to ensure our motherland gets the best of the best serving in the Kenya Defense Forces. 
the commissioning board is a statutory permit that uh, evaluates their level of assimilation of uh, training and their suitability to serve in the Kenya Defense Forces. It recommends to the Defense Council uh, suitable cadets for the grant of commission, which is what makes them KDF officers. We have a critical mass of junior leaders that are just about to be released to the mainstream services to provide the much needed services. I'm a medical doctor by profession, but ever since joining the profession of the arms, I am a soldier first. The vigorous cadet training culminates into a colorful commissioning parade graced by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces. This commissioning parade marks the beginning of your military career journey. I congratulate each and every one of our newly commissioned officers and I say to you, go forth now into service and make Kenya your colleagues, your families, and indeed yourselves very proud.